G'day everyone, Percy here from toptechskills.com. Today's tutorial is based on a question I got on my Ansible template module post on Reddit. Move Throwaway 2018 asks, I like this, but how do I replace vars in the template that change with each loop? For example, what if I want to copy a template for a .git config file for multiple users to each user's home directory? It's a really great question, and in my original tutorial, I did use the loop with the template module, but inside the template, I used nothing that was loop specific. I demonstrated how we could use a global variable or a host specific variable, but nothing about the loop variable. So that's today's challenge. We need to create .git config files in multiple users' home directories using the template module with a loop. All right, let's see how it's done. I've created a playbook here with a vars area set on one of the plays and a users variable inside. The users variable is a list of users for which we'd like to create a .git config. In each item in the list, I've got a name and a username. The first one is John Smith with a username of Jay Smith. The second one has a name of Jane Doe and a username of Jay Doe. These users won't exist on our systems by default. So the first thing we need to do is to ensure users exist. And once the users exist, what we need to do is create a .git config file for each user. All right, now that we've prepared our steps, what I'm going to do in the following sections is to step each one of these comments out into one or more Ansible tasks. The first thing we need to do is to ensure both users in our users variable exist on the system. To do this, I'm going to convert this into an Ansible task. And to create users, we use the user module. Since we're creating users, I know that we're going to need root permissions, so I'm going to set become to true. And since I know that we're going to be looping over our users variable up here, what I'm going to do down here is set loop to our users variable. Inside the user, what we need to set is the name, which is the username. What I'm also going to set is the comment, which is just going to be their full name. And in here, we need to set the state to present. So by default, since we're using a loop, what we can do in name, for instance, is that we can use item.username. Now, I think item is a little bit unclear, and what I'd like this to be is user instead. The way that we do that is to use a keyword called loop control. And inside loop control, I'm going to set the loop var to user. This is going to rename our loop variable from item to user. The next thing I'm going to do here in comment is set user.name. And so for their comment, it's just going to be their full name. Before we start implementing this second item, what I'd like to do is make sure that each task in our playbook is succeeding before we jump onto the next one. Let's run this playbook against both of our hosts to make sure that our ensure users exist task actually works as expected. So you can see in the output here, we've had successes on CentOS and Ubuntu Bionic for Jay Smith and Jay Doe. What I'm going to do is jump over to both those hosts and just do an ls of home just to make sure we have a home directory for Jay Doe and Jay Smith. You can see there on CentOS we have it. And let's do the same thing on Ubuntu. Let's ls home, and we can see that Jay Smith and Jay Doe exist on that system as well. The next thing we need to do is to create the .git config for each user. Now that our users exist, we can go ahead and create the .git config in each one of the user's home directories. I'll convert this into an Ansible task, and I know that I'll be using the template module. On the left-hand side, I've created a templates directory, and inside I've put a .gitconfig.j2 with some commonly populated variables. What I've done for each one of the variables is I've set the value to something that we will get from our loop. So as you can see here, I've set the name to user.name, username is user.username, email is user.username at example.com. And finally for the excludes file, which is each user's global.gitignore file, I've set that to home forward slash user.username and then the .gitignore file. What this is demonstrating is that the template module can not only template out global variables or host specific variables, but that it can also template out loop item specific variables. And the way that we'd achieve that is by using the exact same loop parameters that we've used for our previous task. If I paste that down, what you can see here is that we're looping over the users variable and in the loop control keyword, we're setting the loop var to user instead of item. And what that's going to do is each time template is called out to, we can go over to our file and Instead of using item, we can use user. What we'll do now is flesh out this template module directive. And what we need to do is set the source and that's going to be .gitconfig.j2. The destination is going to be user specific and it's going to be the home directory for the user. So we're gonna have user.username in here and we're going to put it in .gitconfig for each user. Now, since we're creating files for other users, we're going to have to do this as root. So I'm going to set become to true. The other thing that we need to set if we're 
becoming the root user is the ownership and the group of the file because otherwise it's going to be owned and the group of root. So the owner is also going to be user.username and that's what I'm going to set to the group as well. The group is going to be user, sorry, user.username. And then finally, what I'm going to do is explicitly set the mode to 0644, which is going to be the default mode, but I like to make it explicit in my playbooks. So what this is going to do is to create a .git config for each item in our users variable based on our template. So let's run that playbook against both of our hosts and see what happens. The first task is going to ensure the users exist as before. And finally, we'll create the .git config for each user based on our template module specification here. You can see that our tasks have succeeded. And let's go over to the hosts to confirm that that is actually the case. So we're in our CentOS machine here and I'm logged in as CentOS, which is a regular user. So that's going to prevent me from reading the files of other users. The first thing I'll do is use sudo su to change to root. And in here, the first thing I'll do is do ls-lah on home jdo and her.gitconfig file, just to confirm the permissions in the ownership. We've got 644 permissions as we've specified and the owner and the group are both jdo. What I'll do now is I'll cat the output of her gitconfig file. And you can see here, yes, we have name Jane Doe, username jdo, the email is set correctly and the path to her excludes file is set to her home directory. We'll do the same thing now for John Smith, just to make sure that everything's worked as expected, dot gitconfig. You can see here, yes, 644 permissions with the correct ownership and correct group. And we'll do another cat for that as well, just to make sure that we have the correct output. We can see here, yes, the name and the username and the email and everything is set correctly to Jay Smith rather than the items for Jane Doe. So that shows you how we can use the template module to set things in the template based on the loop item rather than just a global or a host specific variable. So that's how I solved the problem of putting a .git config file into multiple users' home directories using the template module with a loop. Thanks again to Move Throwaway 2018 for asking the question on Reddit. I know a lot of people answered the question there already, but I hope this video is useful for some other people in future too. Thanks again for taking the time to comment. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.